Ghana Navy I did 60 years and uh, in celebrating the yeah, 60 years of naval excellence we, we thought as much to invite the navies of the sub-region any navy for omufi ibiasia amamanyina so and uh, the attendance and participation has been very overwhelming at this conference we want to build strong ties among the navies bring build strong networks you you know that the maritime crimes are multinational in nature so no single country can fight the crimes by its own self and it, it takes the collaborative effort of all the the various countries to come together to be able to fight this crime and so that is why we have invited all these navies to come celebrate our 60 years anniversary with us and also brainstorm and find solutions to the myriads of challenges and threats in the, the Gulf of Guinea in, in, in particular. And so that is why we are doing this. Uh, yeah, a person uh, contributed to 90% of uh, yeah, trade generally in, in Ghana. And so anything that affects the free flow of shipping on our waters affects the economy of the country. And so some of the threats include piracy, so ma, 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 ma ti, uh, piracy and arm robbery at sea are uh, very dominant in the Gulf of uh, Guinea uh, region. Other threats include illegal fishing. Yaka uh, illegal fishing are uh, uh, ships are yen lines you see omo na omo e fishy you know wrongly using wrong methods. A banisa e affecti the economy. You know say Ghana hano ye source of protein sixty percent air from fish, and so when fishes are threatened, uh, it affects the the economy. Apart from that. The the ten percent of the population are also engaged in fishing and other related uh, you know activities at sea, and so the fish stock a down affected the economy of Ghana generally. Apart from fishing, which is uh, illegal smuggling, there's uh, illegal activities involving oil uh, at sea, oil thefts. Uh, there are also illegal activities uh, in respect of drug smuggling. Cocaine especially are normally transported at sea to, to, to Ghana. So we have to fight all these uh, crimes. It includes uh, illegal smuggling of uh, human beings, you know, across the, the, the oceans. In the, the job that the Navy for you, and you say, you be patrol, uh, ponoso, send uh, all these activities, you know, into being uh, Countries, uh, first, some say, yeah, yeah, Navy, in the, yeah, invite the Navy in Penny Four, uh, Chiefs of Navies from across. The, the globe and uh, we have uh, as many as 40 admirals, chiefs of navies, representatives of uh, navies and coast guards. Then we have exhibitors which are also providing solutions uh, to the maritime challenges. Also have over 40 uh, maritime defense industries are exhibiting their products uh, today. We have also VIP speakers from various countries who have also uh, been invited to share their thoughts, their experience uh, in dealing with these threats. 
also. Then participants generally over 300 from Ghana and then overseas who are attending this conference. A lot of people don't see the work that the Navy does at sea. And so one of uh, the things we are doing, we are using this occasion, this anniversary, is to educate the general population about what the Navy does at sea, to make them aware of the importance of the sea, so that when uh, government is putting resources to retool the Navy, people will appreciate why government is uh, uh, doing that. And so uh, one challenge we face is the lack of uh, the surface ships, ships to be at sea always. Uh, that, 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 that is a, a challenge. The other challenge is also the lack of legal finality of the arrest that we make at sea. We can be at sea, carry out patrols, but when we arrest people, criminals, they must be prosecuted to serve as uh, you know, a deterrence. But then we don't normally see the end of that, that, that process. So, so it's a, a, a challenge. But uh, government is addressing all these uh, challenges. And so the future looks very bright for, for, for the Navy. And I want to thank you very much for your interview.